Ich finde das ein starkes Stück, weil extreme. wenn die Regierung... Once the government starts doing things like that, when is it going to stop? How far will it go in taking people's possessions? Vermögenswerte ein. What will happen to the house once it belongs to the state? One possibility would be to tear it down. People in Braunau are of differing opinions. This house state... It's an historic house. It's protected. It is a well-built house with thick walls and it should not be torn down. There have been discussions with the owner for years about what to do and she always said no. There's no other option. So what should happen to the house? Tear it down. Otherwise, it'll become a shrine. Which is already the case. For years, people have been making pilgrimages to Hitler's place of birth, even if he only lived here till he was three. The image of Brown now is suffering. It's a huge problem for the city if people come here who are pro-Hitler, pro-Nazi. A stone commemorates the concentration camp Mauthausen and the victims of the Nazis. The owner did not want the plaque on her house. A library and a workshop for people with learning disabilities were in the house. They could return. I wouldn't want this house to be a museum. We already have museums where crimes were committed. We have Hartheim and Mauthausen. City Hall is hesitant to comment plans from the federal government in Vienna. The local MP is against tearing it down. He wants it used for social causes. It's a wonderful idea. Then there is a certainty that the house won't slowly start to be used for things that pertain to the Nazis or anything to do with the extreme right wing. In which case, Braunau would have politely maneuvered its way out of any bad press regarding Hitler's house. There's something to be said for that. The citizens of Braunau cannot wait.